Our next topic is place value diagrams. And we are going to first start off by counting cubes. So we have three sets of cubes here. On this side, we have two squares of cubes. Each square contains 100 cubes. So if we have two of them, we're going to take 2 times 100. That's going to give us a total of 200 cubes. Let's look at the cubes in the middle. Each of these has 10 cubes. However, we have four stacks. So we would do 4 times 10. That would give us 40 cubes. And then finally, on the very right, we have cubes broken down one by one. We have 3 cubes. So we would do 3 times 1 to give us 3. Our next step is going to be to add all of these up. So on our very left we had 200 cubes. In the middle we had 40 cubes. And then on the very right we had 3 cubes. When we add all of this up we get a total of 343. And remember there's another way we could do this after we figured out the number of cubes. We could also set up a place value diagram. If you remember from the previous slide, we set it up by breaking it up into hundreds, tens, and ones. If we looked at how we counted our cubes, we found that we had two of the hundred cubes. If each one's worth a hundred, our total is going to be two hundred. Doing the same thing for the tens, we found out that we had four of these stacks. Each of the stacks of cubes had ten of them. Four times ten gives us forty. For our ones, we had three. Each of the cubes are worth one, so three times one is three. Again, to get the total, we would just add up all the things in the very last column, so 200, 40, and 3, giving us 243.